same face that this world has forgotten. What's up guys? Now, before going into the course of the Wi-Fi battle of the day, I'm just going to tell you guys that I've actually started a Discord group called The Battle, which clearly is an initiation that I want you guys to join it. It's going to be linked down below. And it's basically it's a way of you to actually, of course, battle me, but also battle other players in, of course, the Pokemon community. The purpose of this channel or Discord group is basically to gather people that want to battle by smoke and tears. So feel free to join us and, well, I'll see you guys there. Ooh, what is up guys, and of course, welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle, now of course in OU-ish versus Pokemon Entertainer or Ash. And yeah, as you guys can see, the reason I say Pokemon OU-ish is because, well, we see Lunala, uh, which clearly is an Uber, and also Mega Metagross, which is also another Pokemon that has to be voted to Uber. Now, Mega Metagross, while kind of broken, is not overly scary for this team, so it doesn't necessarily matter, but Lunala is a Pokemon I don't know anything about. Therefore, I actually had to kind of Google it while I was going on and see what it does. But yeah, outside of that, we actually have two UU Pokemon, because this is UI and a little Ninetales. And uh, two NU Pokemon being, of course, in Luzan Rock and Alolan Raichu. So, all in all, it's not too shabby since my team is completely OU. I would say by default that my team could possibly be stronger. Uh, mainly because, of course, it, it kind of is. I don't believe Lunala and Mega Metagross uh, can really, uh, on its own, settle this match all too hard. But they are big threats for my team. And uh, while I'm not overly weak to it, I'm not necessarily strong against that either. Uh, so we have Alol Assault Vest, Tornadus, um, Left World of the Electric Seed, um, Digger Speed, Tabafini, and Tabakoku, and then of course Mega Sableye with Nature uh, Power, or Natural Gift, no Natural Power, uh, to be able to actually use trains to its, to, the, to its maximum, basically. So anyway, going into this match, I'm just going to lead up with Tornadus and hope I get a decent lead. So with that said, let's go. So as we start off the Wi-Fi battle here, um, as I I'm going to lead up with Morales, my Tornadoes, as we're going to see a legit shiny Alolan Ninetales. Now, it could go for both Aurora Vila and Blizzard. While I will be faster, I can't necessarily KO it, and Blizzard will sting a little bit, so I decided to go for a U-turn here, straight on at it. Um, I basically didn't think that it would turn good for me had I stayed in, uh, since I'm naive after all, so not necessarily that special defense. But anyway, so I'm going to bring Arexi. Even though it could go for Freeze Try, trying to basically take any hits that comes, Freeze Try is not too scary unless it goes for a nasty plot. As it goes for Blizzard, we soak that really well. We should soak that really well. I mean, it's still a <clears throat> type of Fini. But of course, with Hail in mind, it does take a um, few more HP from me, and I get whittled down basically by it in the long run. So Hail I should switch out, go directly to the Lunala. As uh, go for directly for nature madness, get as much damage as possible, which is great. Uh, while Anala is not that specially or defensive at all, actually, it's an offensive threat if anything. Uh, it's still is good to get some residual damage. And once we should be mentioned, Anala got a lot of HP, so it could be considered bulky, even though it lacks the bulk to pull it up because it's bulky and it's in the 90s. So he's gonna go for Thunderbolt here. It does easy 50% on me. Uh, as I go for a Surf, which is my strongest possible move against this Pokemon. And I don't do enough. While I one more Surf could KO it, one Thunderbolt on me will definitely kill me. So with that in mind, I decide to, since Thunderbolt seems so obvious, that I just switch out to my Sceptile, try to soak that as well as I can. As he actually will go for a Moon Guy's Beam, which of course is a synergy move from Lunala. It is a 100 base. Uh, ghost moves are pretty much the strongest ghost special attack in the game at the moment, but we do survive it though barely, clearly. Uh, but I can easily here go just for a Giga Rain and get as much HP possible back, which is necessarily not a lot considering, of course, the given environment that, of course, the Lunala is in. But we get the Lunala out of the way, which is incredibly important because it's a major threat. But this matchup, it does kind of function really well as a possible wall breaker. So seeing that out of the way, yeah, that's great. That is that is really, really appreciated as um, the hail is stopping, but he will send in the Mega Metagross. Now, there is nothing I can do against the Mega Metagross. I mean, I can defensively hurt it, uh, but I need to sack something to get the momentum I need. So I'm going to send Araxi and basically sack it to a possible bullet punch, which could seem strange because Meteor Magic does so much, much more. So, here's the Mega Evolution. One would never think 
that I would face a Mega Metagross again in OU, but here we are. And uh, it goes directly for the meter match, and you know, that that's gonna kill, there is no way I'm taking that. And I'm gonna actually send in my bus wall. I basically just want to go for an earthquake, get as much damage as possible on it, uh, because then at least I can be able to kind of whittle it down eventually. It does go for a sin head, but I can easily take one of these, uh, but I could get flinched, which is luckily is something that I don't do, as earthquake will do roughly 50 percentage. I mean, basically I just want to whittle down as stated, and we get just that as left orbs will pull through. But as you guys can see, that there is no way I'm taking another Sun Headbutt. Hell, there's no, no no way I'm taking anything from this Pokemon anymore. As you go yet for another Sun Headbutt, and that will of course KO our Buzzwool. So yet again, a short game where Buzzwool didn't necessarily do anything, but it did open up what I needed here for Vorales to come in and get a safe heat wave off because Bullet Punch is not a threat for me, as he doesn't seem to be carrying, which is great, and Heat Wave will actually KO the Metagross. Should KO the Metagross, actually, I'm thinking about it. As Raichu comes in, and I feel is very likely to go for a Volt Switch. He won't necessarily outspeed me, so I actually want to go for U-turn Scouting for the possible, you know, what do you call it, um, Scarf, which we don't see, and I don't feel that he's going to go for a Psyche, so I'm going to send him Malak, and of course get the Lightning Rod going. As he goes for Thunderbolts, then we're going to nom nom that up, and Mega Sceptiles prove it is worth, as now, of course, the Mr. Train sadly is gone, so I can't use Nature Power to get my Moon Blast going, but at the same time, it, it won't necessarily matter, as he's gonna send in his uh, Nine Tails. I will directly go for Giga Drain, because I need really to get as much HP as possible to be able to hopefully soak something, as Giga Drain fails to kill it, uh, which definitely shows that Lola Nine Tails actually are fairly specially defensive. Wonder Base really is coming through, but there is no way he's going to outspeed me, and I'm not fearing a possible eye shot. I'm really, I'm really, I'm not. Uh, I could possibly die from it though, actually, since the run of HP I am at. But yeah, we knock out the Nagalola Nightles and we're feeling, we're feeling good here. We're, we're doing really well. It's just gonna send in right to, uh, which I felt was kind of surprising, since it does have the Sidua who could possibly take a hit. So I'll just go yet again for another, of course, Giga Rain and get even more HP back. And um, we are looking pretty solid now. We are a plus one. And we should be able to take on anything that comes in at 2 hit KO with the least. As the CGI comes in, and as stated, I should be able to 2 hit KO this Pokemon. And I don't fear the Brave Bird, even though it could possibly kill. Uh, the Dragon Balls will just connect, and uh, it's 50 percentage. Uh, but, well, I didn't necessarily predict for this. He, of course, is the Sinister Air Raid, and that is definitely gonna KO me. There is no way uh, my Mega Sceptile is taking that. Uh, it is unfortunate though, I really was hoping this move is by grass, but it actually is, sadly, uh, a ghost move and that will just eradicate my Malik. Though the HP did fall really, really slow, so I was kind of hoping I was going to survive it, but no, we're not. Uh, but we're still in somewhat of a decent spot here, because he only has two Pokemon left, and I should be able to whittle them down uh, with my um, Tornadoes really, really well, as we're going to go right for the heat wave. Sadly, I do miss it, but luckily his strongest move is the Spirit Shackle, and... Uh, it, it will do a whole lot of damage on me, but it won't necessarily be, you know, unbreakable for me to kind of deal with in the long run as we go directly again for the Heat Wave and KO, of course, the Decidueye. So, yeah, he only has one Pokemon left. I have Tapu Koko, Diggers B, and Tornadoes. We're looking extremely solid as, of course, his Luzan Rockets comes in. And I'm actually going for Superpower. I basically scar is baiting him or hoping that he scarves and locking himself with Stone Edge because then my I definitely could utilize uh, my. Uh, um, what do you call digger speed for this environment, which he's not, he's, the, he's more of an offensive variant, and Stone Age will connect because it is nowhere after all. So the only thing I'm going to do now is actually go to Rain Bronze, and I'm going to hard switch out basically to see how much damage a Stone Age will do to me after plus one defense. So Tabako comes in, and we're switching him out, as I said, and here comes the check-in. Can Tum Tum the digger speed soak a Stone Age? Um, yes, of, of course it can. I mean, no matter what, they would have been able to do it anyway. But I can definitely soak it now. And, <laughs> and yeah, he's actually going to go for a Sucker Punch to get as much damage as me as possible, which actually isn't a whole lot. And we're going to, of course, wrap up the game with an Earthquake, and that will be a 2 of victory in my favor versus, of course, Ash or Pokémon Entertainer. So yeah, it was a pretty, actually, an interesting game, to be completely honest. So, a quick rundown, I guess I should definitely mention here. I definitely was excited seeing Lunala and Mega Metagross again. Uh, they are really powerful. While I could defensively and offensively kind of whittle down this team naturally due to, well, my team being definitely stronger overall, um, I still 
would say that Lunala and Mega Metagross did do a massive amount of work against my team, definitely knocking out Boss World really, really early. I think had my opponent here preserved those two Pokemon better, he would have been able to, in the long run, do a massive amount of damage towards me. Uh, I think losing them both was uh, in the, that early really, really damaging him because his lower tier Pokemon couldn't necessarily uh, threaten the re remaining of my mods, and I definitely was playing more uh, open widely without switching out with, of course, my Mega Sceptile in mind. Uh, because that didn't necessarily need to, I could wrap up naturally. Um, and I think uh, he felt that way too, I'm pretty sure of that. And um, yeah, I mean, it was still fun going against Ubers. And um, as stated, Ubers are on, aren't necessarily OP if the surrounding Pokemon around it are weaker. That is definitely what I take from this battle. So Ash, thank you of course so much for this Wi-Fi bell. And uh, yeah, we uploaded this before the Pokemon Direct going on today because I'm pretty sure once that goes that all my videos will be kind of obscure. So with that in mind guys, thank you of course as always so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed some bit of a Lunala action. And uh, yeah, see you for of course upcoming battles. I have a few more ideas that we are in one with Mega Sceptile. I hope you guys really, really appreciate that. So yeah, thank you of course as I said always so much for watching. I'll see you next video. Until then, take care. Hey, bye. <laughs>